I saw you. My last record was the 11th of September, and on the 13th of September, I got an email from my friend on the other side of the world on the basis of uh, some quantum instrumentation telling me that JJ uh, did in fact have the quantum vibrations of papillomavirus or a papillomavirus all through his body, especially in his skin, his beak, um, and uh, his ear, and other areas of the body, but especially in those areas of the body. And that from memory, I haven't fully checked my records, but from memory his general vitality was very, very low. Uh, I think it was down to 68, if I remember correctly. And his um, zero is basically pretty close to bitty bones. And he didn't have all that long to live. I knew things were serious, but I didn't know what they were um, until we brought on, got the help of the quantum. I suspected that there may be a, a papillomavirus or a herpes virus involved in his um, little toe, where he's got a little warty-like structure, and that was the clue to that. But I didn't put that together with his ear problem because I haven't recognised papilloma before in a budgie so this, for me at least, is a first on many occasions. First of all, um, finding um, evidence for papilloma in a budgie. Secondly, for learning about the distribution of the virus's vibrations in a budgie. And there's uh, lots of details that we could share, but we'll just give the general principles. And um, Thirdly, for seeing a little budgerigar where we've stopped traditional treatment and supplements getting better on the way to improving. So we're going to have a look today and uh, see how much better he's got. Have a look at these, this ear and the side of his face, but he looks from here to there a new bird. And um, a big improvement in his general vitality and uh, uh, his quality of life from when we saw him about, yeah, what was it, uh, the 11th, 11th of the night, and today is the 20th, so that's nine days ago. So, let's go. JJ, you have to be a film star, me, eh? again. I don't know, you don't like being a film star, but anyway, it has to be done. So, yeah, no, it's quiet again, JJ. That's JJ. Oh yes, I know, that's a great friend there, there. I know. How are we going to do These sticks are great for you, but they're not great for me. No. no. There you are, JJ. Thank you. JJ. JJ. Gentle, 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 gentle. Gentle, gentle. Okay. At the present stage, his toe looks much the same. I don't see clinically any drastic changes in the toe. And I'm just mentioning that this is where we clued into papillomavirus from this structure on the side of this toe, um, which is more evident on from that angle there. And that is consistent with a papilloma, a type of wart, that a lot of warts in birds are due to or associated with, I should say, associated with herpes virus infections. And this one, on, at least on quantum analysis, is associated with um, a papillomavirus. Uh, I'd be very much like to grab one of those little warty-like bits and send that off to the university, Greg, but that's up to you. Um, and just um, see what we can do there and see what they can find. It'd be lovely to get some traditional science verification of what's going on. That's my finger, my mate. Now, it was his, this side of the head, wasn't it? That the year it was. That the year it is. All right, let's see what we can do here. I know you never have liked to be cooperative. Anyway, this is the side of the... This is the area where we're trying to film. And you may be able to see an indentation in that, in the middle of that, which is where his ear canal is. 
He is the most difficult little birdie to restrain. He doesn't calm down for me at all easily. But however, it's quite, quite tricky. We might even get a little towel for him. I think we might put you in a towel, my friend. It might make life a lot, lot easier. For birdies that don't want to cooperate, towels are far better than gloves. Aren't they? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Hmm. All right. Okay. Where there's a will, there's a way. For me, too. You've got a will and I've got a will. Eh? All righty. Now, I can hold your hand there. I can do that. And we can... There's one or two feathers just out of the, over the way there. But anyway, right, so we can now see the ear canal is actually opening up if I get the skin in the right position and that the, the ear canal is not totally blocked anymore. It did have scabs around it, did have crusting around it and the scabs and the crusting have largely gone. There is still a degree of inflammation in the skin but the skin is not as thickened and indurated as it was um, nine days ago in my opinion it doesn't feel as thick so um, I think we can say that there's been some clinical improvement here in this part of his body I can't say that I can see a lot of clinical improvement in his um, toe yet but I think that might take about a month to resolve and I'm happy with what we've got there can we take, uh, we might stop in a moment, Greg, and just take some still photographs of this and get as much documentation as we can. So, thanks for letting me recheck him. Happy so far.